Hey everybody, what's going on? Just back with another video. <clears throat> I did just uh, finish a live stream. Thank you to everybody who watched that. I really appreciate it. If you want to check it out, just go to my channel, The Dan Freeman Show, and you should be able to check that out as well. We covered a lot of interesting topics, including the housing market, uh, Robert Kennedy Jr., and just some things uh, that Pierre Polyev had to say. Now, I also have this here. Um, one thing I did want to make a separate video on was, and I'm sure you guys know who Jordan Peterson is. He's a very famous uh, psychologist, uh, used to work for, I believe, the University of Toronto. And as you know, he's been saying some, I guess you can consider controversial subjects. I don't necessarily consider them that way. But of course, the leftoids and the left bots, they all feel it's controversial and that he's dangerous for what he's thinking, which is absolutely nonsense. But he did get into some hot water with the Ontario College Association, and they basically said that he had to enter some re-education program, some re-education mandate, so that he could be you know, more sensitive and more nice, and basically don't tell the truth, is what they're saying. And of course, you know, this happened, a couple, I think, a couple of years ago now, and of course, you know, it was a long process, he got drug out, he then appealed the decision, and today, unfortunately... Canada's top court, the Supreme Court, nixes Jordan Peterson's appeal of professional college remedial orders, which is just like a re-education program for him, basically, and that he can't now practice his psychology in Canada until he takes this training, which is basically, it's going to be some person telling him, you can't say this, you can't say that, and Jordan Peterson's going to have to agree to all of it before they give him his license back, which is absolute nonsense. I mean... Listen, I, you may not agree with Jordan Peterson on any on everything he says, but that guy's brilliant. He's well spoken. He's out there trying to help people. Everyone has a message to spread, and he's got his, and he should be able to say it. We used to live in a country where you could practice freedom of speech, but not anymore. So Pierre Polyev just said another government bureaucracy threatens to ban a Canadian from practicing his profession because he expressed political opinions the state doesn't like. Now they force him to go a political re-education, bring home free speech for Jordan Peterson and everyone else. Yeah, and again, Pierre Paul, yeah, he's saying the right things. See, when he talks like that, you know, he's pandering to the populists, to you know, libertarians, to people in the center, which I think most people probably fit into that, whether you're center right or center left. I mean, this is nonsense. I'm glad Pierre Paul yeah, is defending him. But, I mean, it, it's just, it's it's nonsense. I mean, it, Jordan Peterson has said some things about Trudeau that are absolutely true. Calling him a totalitarian and a tyrant, it's like, okay, yeah. When you commit treason twice, those are some pretty good words to describe you. But now he's got to go through some re-education. Pro Thank God he's, you know, he's he doesn't need to be a psychologist to make money. Um, but people do need good psychologists, so it, it, it it's not really... I mean, it hurts him and you're taking away his craft, but it also hurts his patients because now they can't see him anymore. You know, I know he's in the States a lot now these days, but, you know, and I'm sure he can practice down there. But then again, are they going to take away his right of freedom of speech too? It's just absolutely nonsense. And so there's this article here from the National Post, and this is what Jordan Peterson had to say on X. He said, update regarding Canada Supreme Court. The court has rejected my appeal regarding the decision of the Ontario College of Psychologists to subject me to indefinite re-education. So, and that, that's basically what I'm talking about. Like, when they say indefinite like that, what that basically means is that we're going to train you until you agree to be a puppet and say what we want you to say instead of giving your personal opinion. Primarily for public opposition, butchers and liars subjecting children to sterilization, yada, yada, yada. And again, you know, where's Doug Ford in all this? And again, I know like he can't just overrule the Supreme Court, but why is he not stepping up and at least making himself heard? Maybe he's done it in the past. I just didn't hear about it. But I mean, this is ridiculous news and he should be saying something about this. But that's the interesting thing about conservatives, right? There's different types of liberals. There's different types of conservatives. Doug Ford is a disgrace. Doug Ford's a progressive conservative, which basically means, hey, I'm conservative by label, but I'm really kind of on Justin Trudeau's side, which he does seem to be a lot. Where Pierre Polyev is like more of a, you know, a free speech populist kind of conservative. 
And listen, I wish there was a populist left-leaning party. I mean, if we had like a, a Robert Kennedy here in Canada, I would gladly vote for him. In fact, if we had a Robert Kennedy, I would strongly suggest challenging Maxime Bernier for the PPC leadership, which I think he would take hands down very easily because, like I said before, Maxim is, is pretty weak. Robert Kennedy is everything but weak. And he'd be a perfect leader for like a populist, you know, left -lean, a left-leaning populist group. I'd vote for it in a heartbeat. But the closest we have to that is Pierre Polyev's more center-right populism, or at least to what he's pandering to. Who knows if he'll keep his promises? In my opinion, it's very crucial that he does, but you know, we'll have to see there. But I'm, I'm, I'm glad he's sticking up for Jordan Peterson, and a lot more people need to because that's just ridiculous. If they come after, they don't just, like, when they take away freedom of speech, they get the people who are making the most noise. Right? They're not coming after the average people yet but they will once they take care of all the big boys. They will come after our freedom of speech too. In fact, they, they've already kind of done that. I mean, even like YouTube and Google was guilty of that during the pandemic. You couldn't say certain things or you were getting banned. You couldn't say things about certain elections, like past elections in 2020, or you were getting banned. If you want to talk about 2016 though, oh, D Donald Trump stole it, all the conspiracy theories that were behind that, that was completely fine. But when the right wing does it, it's not. I think that's why you're starting to see a lot of more sympathy you know, being poured onto people who are on the right because they're the ones who are being attacked. Patriotism, libertarianism, populism, it's all being attacked by the left wing, the far left wing. Even people who are on the left are being attacked by the left because, oh, you're not left enough. And that's why a lot of people are, are upset with Justin Trudeau and the Liberal Party, because they they've they used to be the party of the center left. They're not anymore. They're the party of the far left. Right. And if you have somebody who's on the far left and they look over to their right, they're going to see people on the left, but who are closer to the middle. But because from their perspective, they're so far left, they look over to their right and they, oh, those are all the right wingers over there. It's like, no, you're looking like the people who are closest to your right are still on the on the left. But because they're as far right of you, you think they're on the right wing. They're not. Someone who's center left is going to be viewed as a right wing conspiracy theorist by someone on the far left because that party, that ideology is completely broken. And finally, you're starting to see a shift. Let's make sure we get Jordan Peterson's freedom of speech back and let's make sure that we keep ours. It's very dangerous what's happening here, and it's going to keep going. The more power they get, the more they'll use it, and not in a good way. Trust me. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section about uh, Jordan Peterson. What do you think, Pierre Paul? What do you think about what Pierre Polyev had to say? And what do you think about Justin Trudeau coming after our free speech? Do you think I'm, you know, overstating it when I say he's going to come after our free speech, or do you, you know, do you agree with me and think that, you know, they're they're definitely coming for even more rights than they've taken away? albeit temporarily, they'll do it whenever they want. Um, let me know what you guys think, though, whether you, you want to comment about that or anything else. And, um, you know, just thanks so much for watching. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe before you click off this video. It really, really helps grow the channel, and I appreciate everyone who does. Uh, thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll be back shortly with another video.